Yo, what's good, boys? Thank you for clicking on the video. Listen, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best binds for paddles on controller. I'm gonna give you guys the best binds for two paddle setup, four paddle setup, or non paddle setup. And also, I'd really appreciate it if you watch the full video through because it helps out the channel a lot. Let's waste no more time and hop right on into it. All right, so I'm gonna first give you guys the best paddle binds for a four paddle setup just like mine. So I just changed my binds completely and my edits have been super fast lately. And the reason my edits have gotten so much faster is because I updated my double edit binds. So before we get into my settings, I'm gonna give you the button layout. That's these buttons up here that are on the back of my controller. So my top left paddle is A, my top right paddle is X, my bottom left is Y, and my bottom right is B. So now you'll be able to match up my paddle binds with my Fortnite settings so you can have the same exact binds as me. All right, so now let's hop into the settings. Alrighty, and here are are my brand new controller binds. Now I do use the generic controller platform because it does give less input delay and so does having switch mode slash edit onto a random bind that you don't use on your controller. So if you wondered why it says I edit with my D-pad and I actually don't, that's why. So now I'm gonna explain the best four paddle setup and which paddle does what. So down left stick is my switch mode and my top left paddle is my edit, top right paddle is my jump, my bottom left paddle is my reload slash edit, and my bottom right paddle is my pickaxe. And I've been using a four paddle controller for almost two years now and these are definitely the best binds I've ever used. So now I'm going to give you the best two paddle controller setup. What I recommend is your left paddle to be your edit and your right paddle to be your jump and your down left stick to be your switch mode. And the reason I chose those specific binds is because whenever you're in combat or whenever you're building, it is very important for you not to have to take your thumb off the joystick. Now, if you only have two paddles, you will have to take your thumb off the joystick to reload and to pull out your pickaxe, but it's more important to be able to jump, pull your builds out and edit all without taking your thumb off the right stick. So now we're going to move on to the no paddle slash standard controller grip. It's the regular way you hold a controller. I'm going to give you the best binds for this. Now remember, whenever you're choosing binds, it's super important to try to not have to take your finger off the stick as much as possible. So I recommend to have down left stick as your edit and down right stick as your build mode. And of course, it's super important to be able to jump without taking your thumb off the stick as well, but this is a really tricky one. Now I have seen a few controller players do this. They take their jump and they put it on their bumper so you can jump, edit, and pull out your builds without taking your thumb off the stick. And then they'll take their next weapon slot and they'll put it on one of their face buttons. Now the huge downside to this is the learning curve. So jumping with your your right bumper and switching your weapons with one of your face buttons is super difficult to learn. But if you're down for the challenge and you don't want to use paddles or learn claw, then I highly recommend you switch to these binds and go for it. Just try to learn it. It's going to take a while, but these are the best binds for non-claw players in my opinion. Now the rest of these settings doesn't matter if you're using four paddles, two paddles, or no paddles. These all apply to all of those binds I just showed you. So for the build controls, trap picker slash place slash interact should be on your reload button no matter where it is. And for your edit binds, I highly recommend you use your bumpers. So I use reset on my right bumper and I use confirm on my left bumper. And left bumper confirm is the fastest confirm button I have ever used. So with all that said, I really hope you learned something. I really hope I helped you out a little bit. And if you did enjoy this video, come on over to the item shop and use my supporter creator code take off just like this. Go ahead and hit accept. It helps me out way more than you think. And yo, if you made it this far into the video, go in the comments and comment non-claw in the comment section. I want to see who the real ones are. And if you watch this video all the way through, then you'll definitely enjoy this one. So go ahead and click this video and I'll see you in there. Much love, yo. Peace.